the first one, which is inexorable at some level, but I also call it a paradigm shift, um, is the climate paradigm shift. This used to be a debatable thing at some level, but it, the science is so clear here, I just want to lay it out here because it's going to create, impact the risk world in a million different ways here. So this is if you take the CO2 in our atmosphere, this is what traps heat for climate change. So from the time of Jesus, for the last 2,000 years, it was pretty much stable. And then the Industrial Revolution came along and we started punching it, putting it up into the air, right? And then it got up to this area. That's kind of understood. It's even more crazy than that. If you go back to the beginning of human beings, what is a modern human being with our minds and stuff kind of came up about 200,000 years ago. And this is essentially uh, the carbon in the atmosphere since humans have been around. And we know this through ice cores and all kinds of stuff. And these are ice ages, by the way, those peaks. We are in territory where humans have never lived like this, right? Now, it can get a lot worse. It can go way up. And then you're like in where the dinosaurs were, where there were no ice at all, and the water is 100 meters higher. But anyhow, the point is, this is bad direction to go. And so what's happened with carbon energy is essentially we've been building through the Industrial Revolution. But here's the secret I want to point out to you here. We can spend a lot of time on this. See the developed countries like United States, Europe? We started to flatline in 1980 to 2020. Why? We started to understand that we had to have a lot more efficient um, efficiencies, and we were able to kind of hold, essentially, on our carbon as best we can. It's the developing countries that in the recent years have been actually pushing the numbers up. But anyhow, I want to point about that hold. Because what's been going on with all this talk in, you know, COP26 they just had, uh, is we have to figure out a way to bring down, bring down, top off, not just keep it steady, but we have to drive it down. And that's what's going to basically be ahead of us here. Now, this, it's gotten to the point where big finance, global finance, everyone's trying to wrap their heads around this. It's not really a debate anymore. So whether or not you want to believe this or your politics are different, just it's going to structure your world. Thank <laughs> you.